Right, passengers heading to Indianapolis from Orlando or are finally home at this hour after making an emergency stop. Now, one of those people on board is sharing his story of how he found out there was a pressurization problem. We're told the Allegiant flight was carrying 155 passengers this morning when something went wrong in the main cabin. But Bobby Doubted, who is training to be a pilot, tells us he and other passengers suddenly noticed they were descending, but weren't given any kind of explanation. In the end, it took three planes to get everyone back to Indy. They never once said emergency, and then we hit the ground and noticed that there was fire trucks rolling down the runway with us. They're like, oh, this is standard precaution. They, you know, they wouldn't throw that emergency word out there. They come back on and tell us that that plane, uh, it was called a rescue plane. It needed rescued on its way to come rescue us. So they had to send us a third plane, which pushed us back even more. Well, what a nightmare. Allegiant issued a statement to us tonight saying, in part, safety is and always will be Allegiant's number one focus. We're told the first plane is now out of service to be inspected.